Hey cousins, I bet you're wondering, wait, that is what the food looked like after they left? Yes. Yes, it is. And just come along with us. Come along with us on this journey. All right, so we're going to try our breakfast. It looks like I ain't got on no shirt. Um, we're going to try breakfast at Barney's. I am currently in the valet line. And I have been here, like, sitting here probably for about five minutes. So we're about to see. It was, a, like, a long way out um side so I was gonna wear my little heels i was gonna hit y'all with the the platforms but the way this line is looking your girl is just gonna keep on her flip-flops um i'm rocking the in the shades black on business make sure you get your phone all right i'll be back okay so in fact i stopped recording because i got hangry we got there about 12 noon and the lady told me two hours two and a half hours so i was like okay cool yo like they started calling other people to their tables two and a half hours passed we're starting to knock on three hours and your girls was hungry we are still waiting it has been two hours two hours this food with a I'm we ordering everything. My food better be good. Any better be good. Bring Cause we're gonna let y'all know. Bring the food. Bring the food now. So when we're hitting that three hour mark, we were getting restless. We were actually thinking about going to another restaurant because I went and talked in, to the hostess and she was like, Oh, you're still eleven down on the list. So there was eleven people ahead of us or eleven parties and I was like, Absolutely not. Like this is ridiculous. So another one of the hostess was actually like, no, that she was going to get us in. Um, she saw my bracelet and realized that she was my Sarah. But at the end of the day, it seems like if you know somebody, they know somebody, they know somebody, you can get a seat up in here. And when we got our table, this lady was about to fight us because the lady was about to sit us. So that was just very ghetto. So I'm going to get straight to the point. Breakfast at Barney's, I would probably give them maybe a 6 out of 10. The lobster mac and cheese and greens was really good. And the pancakes was really good. The salmon croquettes uh, were a little bit too fishy for me. I, I, they say it's like they were seasoned with nothing. But the potatoes were really good. And um, you can't mess up eggs. And I'm going to let my friend come on at the end of the video. Um, she recorded her part. So, would I go back to breakfast at Barney's? Yes, for sure, if I can make a reservation. Other than that, it wasn't worth the wait to me. from Lawrenceville, Georgia, so it took me about 30 minutes to get there. Really excited. Yes, there, there was a line for valet, but it went fast. I think I sat in line maybe two minutes. So, I was really calm. We got our name on the list. They told us two hours. <sighs> the first... 20 minutes, real crunk, looking at the menu. Okay, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get that. 45 minutes. Okay, let's walk down the street, look at this some stuff. An hour and a half. Okay, we got 30 minutes. Two hours. Uh-uh, we're going to go to the door. Let's see what's going on. Then the man was like, well, I don't know why she gave you a time. Because it's usually a little longer than that. But then maybe like five minutes after that, they got us in. By this time, I was over the brunch situation so I didn't want mimosas anymore so I ended up getting a drink it was really good um wait backtrack so we sat there we didn't have a waiter for about I'm gonna say five minutes even though I really want to say like 20 but I think I'm over exaggerating so I'm gonna say about five minutes um I get they're just really busy um so then finally we got a girl she came over she was nice we got a drink. We, I ordered the 14 carat gold pancake and I got the fish and grits. Um, the fish and grits were really good. The grits were creamy. The fish was fried. Okay, it could have been a little harder, but it was good. The pancakes were wonderful. Like, you don't need no syrup. They just like melt in your mouth. I don't know how to cook those pancakes, but they were just delicious um the food was 
okay. The pancakes were great. I'm not going to take that from them. The pancakes were great. Um, the service could have been better. Um, I don't know. The inside, I thought it was going to give me Tiffany's. I'm um, breakfast at Tiffany's, but it didn't. It was just mm, a bar in the middle and some seats. Um, but overall, I'll give Barney's maybe a, a seven. So between my friend and I's perspective on this restaurant, we'll give it about a six and a half out of ten. I would like to know your experience down below. Do you think it's worth the wait? This is a black-owned business. I just think there's some things that they need to tweak. 